Hey guys, Allie here. I want to welcome you to Ask Allie, your place for life advice with a metaphysical twist. Ask Allie is the longest running spiritual podcast on iTunes, helping others since 2005. You can catch this podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, along with watching it on YouTube. Today is Monday, August 28th, 2017. Wow, did this month fly. <laughs> I want to thank you for tuning in and giving me a listen to. If you'd like to get a reading, find out more about me or support the podcast, I'll leave all that information below in the show's notes. And don't forget, if you like this episode, please rate it. Well, what a week. What a first week at school. It's been mayhem. I, I don't know, no other way to put it. It's been mayhem, but it's been, it's been interesting. My bus and um, my little banshees are, they're doing okay. We've got a few new kids, younger ones that are very enthusiastic about everything. And we have to kind of dial them back. But uh, other than that, knock on wood. Everything seems fine, and we're just going to go with that, all right? Uh, there was an announcement I wanted to make, and I thought about it before I started doing this. I thought, I need to type this out and write myself a note so I remember. And I thought, oh, I remember. No, I don't remember what it is. That is just so sad. Um, it's not even there. It's just gone. Uh, I'm going to be doing some updates to the antibody ecstasy site. I'm going to add a nice little PDF for astral travel, quick start guide to astral travel and astral sex, because um, the Playboy interview is going to be coming out this week, and it's about astral sex. And if they stop by the site, I want to have something handy dandy there for uh, the people to to grab if they so desire. Uh, what else is going on? Come on, it's right there. I can feel it. Oh well. I'm sure it'll come out as I'm doing something else today. Could be that I don't have a topic. I'm sure a topic will pop up by the time I get down to the topic section. Oh, that was it. See? Ha! Knew it showed back up. Um, I'm thinking about putting a section in here about out-of-body sex, maybe energy, every week. Because I put on um, my Soul Terrific Instagram account, I put in uh, something about energy once a day. I give a, a soul connections quote. And then I put something about out-of-body ecstasy. But I'm thinking I should add something to the podcast. Maybe it should just be about energy. And then I can add out-of-body ecstasy stuff in there when the time comes. I think I'll do that. I think I will, doggone it. That's what my little voice is telling me to do. So I will. Look for that next week. <laughs> Look for that next week. I'll just call the energy energy 180 section. How's that? Hmm. Still thinking. I'm I'm seeing me with oils and all my oils and stone. Everything's still packed. You know, I've lived here. I've lived in this house for what? Nine months now. I'm still all in boxes and I still have no furniture. What does that tell me? Well, that tells me that I don't consider this a uh, a place of longevity. That I'll be leaving maybe sooner rather than later to a new home of my own. I don't know. Instead of renting, I'll buy a house in this area. I don't know what it means, but I have taken note that I, that I haven't done uh, any unpacking yet. And I still have no furniture. <laughs> So, let's pick some, some cards. Ooh, the cards I'm using this week again are Denise Lynn, Native Spirit. I really like this deck. It's a very pretty deck. And if you like uh, um, American Indians and uh, what they stand for and how they can help you, then that's your deck. All right. All right. Card one, two. Let's see. Oh, we got two cards. All right. That'd be something important there. And card number three. Sweet. Interesting. Interesting message for the week. Okay, first card. Gathering your tribe. Now, with gathering your tribe, that really is 
um, being with the people who resonate with you, uh, where you feel like you belong. It's important that you go where you feel that you belong. You go where you are accepted for who you are. Not everybody wants to be the square peg in a round hole uh, and be that lone wolf. Um, I believe there's strength in numbers and the energy is more persuasive in numbers, whatever you're, it is you're trying to accomplish. So gathering your tribe. So get with your peeps, people. Get with the people that get you. You know, it's important. Second, now we have two cards here. We have, I love this card, the spirit of water. The spirit of water is all about listening to your intuition, going with the flow, and going where you feel is right. Not where necessarily somebody tells you what to do, but it's the flow. It's listening to your intuition and going with the flow. And our medicine, which is the other card, is all about intuition and wisdom. So this week, it appears you need to be listening to your intuition as you're gathering your, your tribe. And from your intuition, from going with the flow, you will gain, there we go, you will gain more wisdom. And really, I think we all could use more wisdom. We're human beings, and that's how we learn, by gathering wisdom, knowledge, and allowing soul growth. And then the last card, we, I love this card too, last card we have here, whoops, is Dream Traveler. Now, Dream Traveler, again, deals with intuition, going with the flow, but this also deals with your dreams, obviously, and paying attention to them because you'll be getting messages, um, shout outs from maybe those who are deceased, shout outs from soulmates, twin flame, um, those people who are trying to uh, enter into your life, dream traveler. So again, just to repeat, we have gathering your tribe, get together with peeps who are who, who think like you do, strength in numbers. We have spirits of water and owl medicine. This is all about listening to your intuition, going with the flow, and gathering wisdom. And last but certainly not least, dream traveler. Listen to your intuition, go with the flow, and you'll be getting messages and visits in your dreams. What an exciting week, right? My dreams, my dreams last night were, were nutty. Um, they have been, you know, I've been thinking a lot about Houston and my heart, my heart goes out to Houston, Texas as a whole, and just the, the utter devastation that's happening down there. Mother nature, she, she doesn't screw around, you know, she doesn't. And I know plenty of people who live in Houston and some of them have lost just about everything with the exception of their lives. So my heart goes out to Houston. Lots of love. Lots of love and support. And as I know, you who are listening or watching feel the same. Houston's going to be recouping from this Rockport, Galveston, for years to come. Just like when Katrina ran over New Orleans. Yeah. Same thing. So we need to send lots of love, guys. Lots of love. But when things like this happen something a big type of disaster happens and it affects a lot of people i don't sleep and i always know something's coming up when i stop being able to get a good night's sleep and that happened last started last week and i thought maybe it was just going back to school and driving the bus but obviously not um, i should listen to my intuition i've been through this before i know what's coming up but i think i did, would just rather it not happen the big event, whatever it is, because I just hate to see people um, displaced and have their lives torn apart. It's just, it's upsetting to me. So lots of love. Now, all of that, we are down to, I can't stall anymore, can I? We're down to the topic. Now that I'm here, what shall I talk about? What? Okay. Joshua and Selena, I love you both. They say, um, how can negative thinking be a good thing or how can negative how can why is negative thinking sometimes good for you no that's not the word the upside of negative thinking there we go 
I got to think of a headline. You can write this down. The upside negative thinking. And you're like, what? An upside? Because negative thinking, you know, usually pulls us down that rabbit hole and we're, we're fighting like hell to get out. Negative thinking, when you're stuck in it, of course, is a bad thing. Because you just tend to go over the same thing over and over and over again. And what you're thinking about, what your imagination has drummed up and keeps recycling, usually is a lot worse than the actual reality of what's coming up. Um, but how negative thinking can be an upside, two ways. One, when you're thinking negatively, you're obviously thinking about something you don't want to happen, that you don't like. And if that idea has popped into your head, there must be something going on around you that's not conducive to making you happy, right? So when the negative thinking pops up and you're dwelling over something, whatever it is, you know right then and there you need to make a change. It's your way of your intuition telling you, hey, hello, you got this crap going, going around in your head because something is happening that's making you unhappy. You need to change something. So one, it helps you point out what isn't working in your life and that you need to change that type, that aspect of it, correct? So that's number one. And the second thing, the upside of negative thinking, when you're in that rabbit hole and stuff's turning around in your head, it is within your power to stop the negative thinking. It's within your power to put the brakes on and say, you know what, enough is enough. And to do that is not an easy thing. It's not easy at all to put the brakes on and say, you know, I got to think about something else other than whatever this is. And to do that, to be consciously aware of what's going on and to put the brakes on it so you can think about something that's more positive, that takes a lot of inner strength. And it makes you realize that you are much stronger than you thought you were, correct? Stopping the cycle of negative thinking is not for the faint of heart. It is difficult to pull yourself out of that rabbit hole once you're in it, but it can be done if you decide to do it. And when you decide to do it, you are showing immense strength. So those are the two upsides of negative thinking. One, you realize what you need to change in your life. And two, you realize how much inner strength you actually have. And I honestly feel that each and every one of you is a hell of a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. You are. So keep that in mind. And that's a wrap, guys. We're here at the end. Thank you for joining me here at Ask Alley. If you liked this episode, and I hope you did, please rate it and tell your friends. The more people who listen, the more people I can help have their aha moments. Join me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can find out more about this podcast and past episodes at AskAllyPodcast.com. You guys have yourself a fabulous week, and I will catch you next Monday. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.